Doctor, we're looking obviously at the spine. That's and right. tell us these minimally invasive injections, where, do, where are they put? Well, the, uh, when we do this minimal invasive, we'll be using, as uh, Ralph was talking to us before, we use x-rays. So we have an idea based on the, pri uh, first of all, we have an MRI or a CT scan that we use prior to the procedure. And normally, we, it serves as a, as a roadmap. So already we have an idea where the problem is, just based on the history of physical examination matching that with MRI. So already we come into, into play when we go into the room, just knowing the detailed anatomy of the patient. So normally we get x-rays, and basically this is the spine uh, looking kind of from the side view. So in the spine we have the different uh, bones, which are called the vertebras. In between the bones we have the different uh, soft tissues or cushions, which are called the disc. Uh, in this hole here called the neuroforamen, that's where the nerve they actually they come out from, um, that they go down to the leg, that's something when they can get compressed, people call the sciatica. So there are different structures here that can be targeted when we're doing injections. First of all, we have, um, there's a couple joints in here called the cecopal facial or facet joints, that normally under x-ray guidance we can access those. Uh, we have the hole where the nerves are coming out from, normally that's what, what the epidural space is. We call the transfer aminal injections, we guide those injections using x-ray guidance into that space. Other more sophisticated procedures that we sometimes we can do will be disco, dis, discograms or discography. So basically we put a needle inside the disc to kind of uh, see what the symptoms are coming out from the disc, so it's more of a diagnostic tool. Sometimes in the, if there are fractures in the back, sometimes we employ procedures such as kyphoplasty. So what that means is that we put some cement into the spine to harden or seal the fracture to allow the patients to get better. Last but not least, we have the, this joints over here called the sacroiliac joints that are also a common source of pain that under X-ray guidance we can have access and we can inject them.